All right, so just a quick video on this, um, how to, just a common problem you might have if you live in a cold climate um, with KitchenAid dishwashers is if you're, um, you find that you open the door and all of the dishes are dry after running a cycle and they're all still dirty and it looks like it didn't even dispense any water, um, check to see if the uh, dispenser is open and, and try to dispense the soap or the laundry or the uh, sorry dish pods that you put in there and if it just kicks out for example like a dish pod that hasn't even burst open yet and it's completely dry in there um, what I found that it meant in my case was that the uh, the hose that runs from our water line around through to the back of the washing machine and then down and under and then up into the door where the water is dispensed this silver line right here this uh kitchen style hose it's like a 3 8 typical kitchen slash bathroom style hose it um uh, it was fucking frozen all the other pipes in the kitchen sink were thawed like the same type of hoses but this one because it's right back against this thin wall here which isn't insulated um, it gets a lot of, uh, like, wind freeze um, on that back wall. Even though the I thought I already thawed the pipes that were frozen that led to the sink and shit, these ones were just unexposed and locked back there, so they basically had, like, permafrost, so I had to take a heat gun and do that. Um, and it, you might get misled because I ran the diagnostic uh, thing where on a KitchenAid to do that, and they don't tell you this in the manual because they're a bunch of greedy fuckers, but you uh, press start to get the thing to wake up, and then you just press any series of buttons, any, any three buttons, any combination of three buttons, random, no matter what they are, they can be random. And you press them one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And you have to do that quickly. And then it will display uh, two series of flashes. It'll be first, it'll flash like a number of times, and then it'll pause, and then it'll flash a number of times um, in a different series. And that's and so like let's say it flashes six times and then it pauses and then it flashes twice that means it's error code 6-2 in my case I had error code 10-1 and that was related to the dispenser um, it was, meaning like the dispenser doesn't open but I was like no, well wait a sec the dispenser was opening it was kicking out dry uh, dish pods so that made me think oh well it's probably um, it probably wasn't it was probably like triggering that same error code because it wasn't having the water coming up to force it open um, because the water line was blocked. And this machine has no way to know a water line's blocked. Um, it can tell maybe if like there's not water coming into uh, like the impeller or something like that, but I think maybe that was the first thing it hits or something, and that's why it threw that code. I'm not really sure, but in any case, that's what fixed it was thawing that pipe. So that's something to check.